Hi everyone, it's Michael. So I have a spectacular problem for you all today. Uh, this one was from the 2005 IMO shortlist and it was number six out of seven of the geometry problems. So it was the second hardest uh, of all the geometry problems proposed that year. Uh, and so if you'd like to try to solve it, feel free to pause the video. All right, so I'm gonna go over the solution. Okay, so we have a triangle ABC. Uh, M is the midpoint of BC. Let gamma be the inner circle of triangle ABC. The median AM intersects the inner circle gamma at two points K and L. Uh, then we draw parallels through K and L to, to the side BC. And the parallel through K intersects the gamma at X and the parallel through L intersects gamma at Y. And then let AX intersect BC at Q and let AY intersect BC at P. And we want to show that BP is equal to CQ. So on the Art of Problem Solving Forum, there were several dozen different solutions to this, uh, which is usually the case with a fairly difficult problem. So it's really cool trying to compare all of them and seeing just how different they all are. Um, but here's my approach. Um, so the first thing I noticed is that we want to prove that BP is equal to CQ, uh, but M is the midpoint of BC. So that's the same as showing that PM is equal to MQ. Okay. So I'm going to try to prove that PM is equal to MQ. And one way to do that, uh, whenever we want to show one point is the midpoint of a segment, uh, we can use cross ratios. So that's the same as saying that the cross ratio PQM infinity is equal to one. Uh, because basically M divides the, would divide the segment PQ into the ratio one to one. And then the point at infinity would also divide it in the ratio one to one. And so that would be equivalent to it. So that's gonna be my approach. I'm gonna show that PQM PQ infinity is equal to one, okay? Uh, so those four points, what do I project them through? I'm going to want to project them through another point onto another line. So I'm going to project them through A. That seems a very natural choice. Um, and so the line joining A to the point at infinity on PQ is the parallel through A to PQ. So I'm going to draw that parallel line. And the question is, what line do I project it onto? And I'm actually going to project it onto the line x, y. So that might seem like a very random choice of a line, but I'm going to explain to you why I do it um, in just a little bit. Okay, so I'm projecting the four points p, q, m, and the point at infinity onto the line x, y. So point p goes to y, uh, q goes to x, m goes to this intersection point here, uh, which I'm going to call G, and the point at infinity would go to point F, okay? So the cross ratio PQM infinity is equal to the cross ratio YXGF. So I'm going to write that out, okay? And the reason why I projected on the line XY was because I wanted to exploit symmetry. Um, so it's not too hard to see that KXLY is an isosceles trapezoid. And that's because since both KX and LY are parallel to BC, they have to be parallel to each other. And whenever you have two parallel chords in a circle, their endpoints always form an isosceles trapezoid. So we have a lot of symmetry in this figure. Basically, if you take um, the four points A, K, G, and L, and you reflect them over the perpendicular bisector of L, Y, you get F, X, G, and Y. Um, so basically, we have a symmetry, so the cross ratio of these four points is actually the same as the cross ratio of these four points uh, because the distances between all of them are the same. So I'm going to write some of this out. So as I mentioned, uh, KXLY is an isosceles trapezoid because it's composed of two parallel chords, okay? And because of that, we have a symmetry here. So uh, AF, KX, and LY are all parallel. Um, 
So if we utilize the symmetry of the figure, we have GY is equal to GL, GK is equal to GX, and KA is equal to XF. And so this cross ratio YXGF, uh, by symmetry, it has to be the cross ratio LKGA, okay? Because the pairwise distances between these four points are the same as these four points. And that's exactly why I chose to project onto line XY, okay? All right, so we have this cross ratio LKGA, and we want to show that it's equal to 1 because um, that would solve the problem, okay? So here, the next step, I think, is really the most clever step in solving the problem. Um, I think it, it's a fairly tricky step, but I'm going to want to take these four points, and I'm going to want to project it onto the circle gamma. So the question is, what is a good point um, to project those four points through um, that would make the problem easier. And it turns out that the point I'm going to choose is the topmost point of the in-circle. Um, so this, this point right here at the very top of the in-circle, I'm going to project through that point. And if you ask me how I thought of doing this, um, I kind of just played around with a lot of points until I found one that, that worked well. Um, so it may seem a little bit like magic, but then at the same time, I wanted to apply um, something from the IM lemma that I've shown in video 65. Uh, so I'm going to show you. Um, so I'm going to let H be the point of tangency, and I'm going to let the topmost point of the in circle be point J. So HJ is a diameter of the in circle, and by symmetry, it has to pass through G. Okay, so we have HJ as a diameter, and I'm going to take the four points L, K, G, and A, and I'm going to project it through J onto the circle. Okay, so points L and K are already on the circle, so if we project through K, they're just going to stay where they are. Uh, point G is going to go to point H, and then if I project through point A, well, I'm going to want to draw the line AJ and see where it hits the circle. So I'm going to let the line AJ intersect the circle at point R, and I'm going to let it intersect BC at point N. Okay, so if I project uh, A through point J onto the circle, I get point R. So basically, the cross ratio LKGA, which is four points on a line, if I project it through J onto the circle, I would get LK, and then G would go to point H, and A would go to point R, okay? So the, the cross ratio LKGA, which is four points on a line, has to equal the cross ratio LKHR, which is four points on a circle. And if, if the cross ratio of four points on a circle is equal to one, and that's what we're trying to show, then that's true if and only if the quadrilateral is a harmonic quadrilateral. Um, so I haven't done a video on this yet, but it's a well-known idea um, in geometry. Um, so basically the quadrilateral L, uh, LHKR, so the quadrilateral form of those four points, its cross ratio is equal to one if and only if KL passes through the intersections of the tangents at H and R, okay? Um, so basically, this cross ratio, it's equal to one if and only if uh, MR is tangent to the in-circle. So that's what we want to show. If we can show MR is tangent to the in-circle, then KL passes through the intersection of those two tangents, and so KHLR is a harmonic quadrilateral, and so this cross ratio has to equal one then. So I may do a video on it later, but that is the idea I'm going for. Okay, so I want to show that MR is tangent to gamma, and I'm going to note one thing first. It turns out that angle HRN is 90 degrees, and that's not hard to see because HJ is a diameter of the in circle. Okay, so but before I get to that, 
Um, I'm going to use an idea from uh, my video on the IM lemma. So this is a very well-known idea uh, in geometry, and it says that if you draw the line through A, um, through the topmost point of the N circle, and you let it intersect BC at point N, then MN is equal to MH. So this is a fact that I used in my video on the IM lemma, and I also proved it, um, but it's a, it's a very well-known idea. Okay, so check out that video if you haven't seen it before. Okay, so we know that HM is equal to MN because N is the intersection of AJ with BC, and J is the topmost point. Okay, and, and not only that, I'm going to show that angle MRN is 90. So HJ is a diameter of gamma, so angle HRJ is 90 degrees, and so that means angle HRN has to also be 90 degrees. Okay, so HRN is a right angle, and HM is equal to MN, so M has to actually be the circumcenter of HRN. And so that means that MR is equal to MH. And if, if MH is equal to MR, then, well, we know MH is tangent to gamma. So that means by symmetry, MR also has to be tangent to gamma. So we have exactly what we want now, because uh, if MR is tangent to gamma, then that means that KL um, passes through the intersection of these two tangents. And if KL passes through the intersection of the two tangents, then that means KHLR is a harmonic quadrilateral. Um, that's a property um, of, of harmonic quadrilaterals. And because of that, the cross ratio uh, LKHR is equal to one. And so basically that gets us where we want. Um, just a few more steps that I'm going to write out. But if this is a harmonic quadrilateral, then the cross ratio LKHR has to equal one. And so then if you trace it back, that means the original cross ratio has to equal one. Um, okay, so PQM, PQ infinity is equal to one. And this is simply uh, PM over QM because it's it's the ratio that M divides PQ into, so it's PM over QM. And then the point at infinity divides any two points into the ratio one. So PM over QM is equal to one, so PM is equal to QM. And once we know that, uh, by symmetry, since M is the midpoint of BC, uh, we have BP is equal to CQ. So this is a very fun and a very tricky problem uh, it looks like it, it looks like a fairly simple problem when you first look at it, but most of the solutions that I saw in the Art of Problem Solving form were, were fairly challenging. Um, so if you find a different solution, uh, I'd love it if you post it on my channel. Uh, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more like this, uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Thanks, everyone.